I'm Anthony Hudson. And joining me as always is Gary Lyman. Hey, Hutto. I'm glad to be here tonight. Tonight, it's Fremantle at home against Collingwood. Collingwood running onto the field, looking for a big performance today. I'm really looking forward to seeing how they play today. That's true, Hutto. Side by side, they stick together. Collingwood, defence has a big job today. If they can stop the opposition forwards from getting a few chances early, it goes a long way to winning this game. Fremantle love playing at home. Just listen to the support. The banners are ready for the players. Captains converge for the toss of the coin. The Magpies wins the toss. Round three. Come into this game with really good form. Both sides look ready to get into the action just moments away now. And here we go. It's Fremantle taking on Collingwood. The ball in the hands of Roberts. She's got the footy in her hands. There'll be a ball up in the centre square. Can you tell us anything at the moment, Gaz? There's some great skills on display right now. A great match. A poorly executed tackle there. Darcy uses the body well. Works it across the ground. Dug it out. Advances through the tackle. Breslin couldn't hang on to the ball. Gives away a free for in the back. Grant going for number one. Goal! She acknowledges the crowd. Puts the first goal on the ball. They're looking more dangerous inside 50 now. Great reward for effort. That's a really good team goal. The umpire set the bounce to restart the game. She gains the possession. Kicks hurriedly. Clear free. Just put both hands in the back. Dask elects to kick. A great mark taken there. 45 metres out. Going for goal number one. Land, but now's the opportunity. Celebrating hard. Collingwood have kicked the last two goals. What a start for Collingwood. This is how they can score, Big Hutto. If they can do that on a consistent basis, it's massive. That goal will be a real confidence boost. You can see that she's up and about now. Back in the middle. Has the rucks go at it? Tap down. Allen on the ball. Allen just threw it. Goes by foot. An easy grab for Go Sullivan. Goes with the kick. Over the top of the pack. With a driving kick. Got hands to it. Used the hands and gives away the free. Alexander sends one up towards the wing. Doing well to intercept that kick. Kick by Sharp. Williams looking to track down the footy. And we'll get a ball up. What can you tell us at this stage, Gary? I'm liking what I'm seeing at the moment, Hutto. A great game of footy. 
Slapped away. Clean from the half volley. Williams couldn't stick the tackle on Brassel. Opportunity for Livingston. There'll be a ball up close to goal. Guides it down. Gathered by Bowers. Going for goal number one. Never on target. And a behind. The Dockers keeping in touch. Hines ready to bring it back into play. Hines kicks hard along the boundary line. Moves it by foot. Membry wins the ball in the air. Works it across the ground. Quickly onto the boot. The loose ball picked up. Membry will be the recipient of the free. Elects to kick. Livingston found some space and marked. Movement by hand. The old one-two takes possession. Couldn't take it. Getting in the way was Malloy. Loses control of the ball. Lambert likes her chances from there. You can see that happening right after it left her boot. Collingwood doing well at the moment. Deciding where to go with the kick in. Takes a strong mark. Antonio drives a low kick. The mark has been taken. Elected to play on. The ball finds Russell. She likes her chances from here. Chalk a goal up for Collingwood. Brazil celebrating hard. 18 points the difference. Center bounce. Punched away. She has the ball. The ball ends up with Darcy. Collingwood are allowing too many marks inside the opposition forward 50. If they continue to get beaten in this area, they'll find it difficult to keep the lead. Good hurry kick. Finds this and marks well. Works it across the ground. Breslin does well to mark. Channels a lot. Fremantle trailing by 18 at quarter time. Collingwood have come to play. They've got themselves in the game and need to push on now. Here's Gaz to break down the stats. Fremantle can't seem to find the footy. It's pretty simple. If they don't have the ball, they can't score. Thanks. The second term ready to get underway. Back in the middle now. Thumps it clear. Hacking it out of there. Antonio on the ground. Going straight to the rooms. Doesn't look good. Uses it by foot. The kick from Gooch. Slams it onto the boot. Doing well with the mark. Horton releases by hand. Ware puts on a bump. Shows some physicality. O'Day got her. Showing some really good pressure there. Target goes for territory. Lambert with a chance to light things up. Collingwood lead is now 19. Looking to bring it back into play. Breslin found time to get it on the booth. O'Sullivan charges with intent. And the umpire will ball it up. What are your thoughts at the moment, Gaz? I'm really enjoying this one, Hutto. Wow! was that they increased their lead pretty happy with that one that's four in a row for Collingwood the margin is 25 is in her possession Hines takes it strongly manufactures the handball Darcy going for number one the drop punt sails between the big sticks and that puts them further in front she loved that one Collingwood have kicked the last five goals now they lead by 31.
Hines won the hit out. O'Day slams it onto the boot. Giotti gets on the end of this with a driving kick. The umpire pays deliberate. Interesting call. Uses it by foot. Gooch gets on the end of this. Wants to move it quickly. Goes by hand to go. Sullivan rushes with the kick. Gets the loose ball. Wants to keep it moving. They are desperate for a goal now. A great goal. Horton loved kicking that one. Fremantle now only trailed by 25. It hasn't always been clean, but they've got the goal. It's great to watch Hutto. Plenty of excitement. Collingwood can be very damaging if you allow them time and space. They've been able to find space way too easily today. Collingwood need to be more aware of the opposition set up at the stoppage. Their hitouts are getting cut off too often. O'Day just goes bang, puts on a bump. Ball up in the centre square, punches it clear, goes off the ground. Dug out the loose ball. Good mark and looks to send it back. Grant goes for home. Just sneaks in for a behind. Collingwood lead by 26. Breslin to bring it in. Anything standing out at the moment for you, Gaz? I'd really love it if these teams took the contest to the next level. Just gets it onto the boot. Gathered by Giotti. Porter gets in a good position. The Magpies cab the lead, but they're allowed plenty of opposition marks inside 50. They need to fix up that aspect of the game if they're to stay on top. Bowers moves it now. Well picked up. Uses the bump. Just releases the ball. She just throws that ball. Antonio kicks it. O'Sullivan drops the mark. Lambert heads onto the ground. There'll be a ball up in the centre square. Thump clear. Duffy gurns a free kick. Got boot to ball. Great mark. Elects to kick. Strong with the body and wins the mark. Puts boot to ball. Looks like the ball will be coming back. Livingston kicks it to the square. She seems to be struggling at this stage. It might be time for a break. Sharp has it. An ideal position to be kicking from. She decides to go for home. Congratulated, Bob Collingwood. We're in the lead by 20 at the half. A good first half from Collingwood. They can be well pleased with how the game is shaping. Anything you can see, Gary? Fremantle could cost in themselves with turnover today. They need to find a way to control the play better and stop turning it over. Thanks for that, Gaz. Players taking a much-needed rest as we prepare to launch into the third term soon. We're set to go at the start of the third quarter. Clears the contest. Duffy needs a chance to rest. Hits the target by hand. Just gave it away. Looking to kick goal number two. The drop punt goes straight between the big sticks. They get around her after that effort. They have all the momentum at the moment. That came off the back of some good work further up the ground. She knew that was home as soon as it left the boot.
Well, when you look at the shots at goal, there just hasn't been enough scoring opportunities being created. Get the ball inside 50 and give your forwards a chance to take a mark. Fremantle forwards are dangerous anywhere inside 50. They just need to be given a shot. Off hands from Sharp. Fremantle won't be happy to see that scoreboard. Hines plays it to herself. Sinks the slipper into it. Terrific mark there. Collingwood are allowing too many marks inside the opposition forward 50. If they continue to get beaten in this area, they'll find it difficult to keep the lead. She can't hold the mark. Linking by hand. Antonio won herself a free. Works it across the ground. Marked by Horton. Big kick required from this distance. She takes aim. What a fantastic goal. That's number three. Horton couldn't be happier with that goal. Fremantle close the gap to seven. We're back in motion. Hammers it. A chance for Godet. Has it now. That tackle just too high. Chips it towards half board. Great mark under pressure. Grant going for number two. A chance to soccer it and kicks the goal. A time to celebrate. And don't they get around Lambert. Collingwood by 13. Roberts thumped it clear. Malloy controls this one. Goes off the ground. Lynch takes it well. Going for goal number one. The drop punt sails between the big sticks. She's enjoying that goal. That's two in a row for Collingwood. 19 points the difference. Using every ounce of energy she has left. Just got the hands in the back there. A big contested grab. Breslin puts it on the boot. A chance to reload the attack now. Grant goes with the kick. Good grab there from Antonio. Looks to move it by foot. She's the number one ranked player on the ground. She's doing everything right. Runs out of room and will get a throw in. What do you make of the game so far, Gary? This is a classic game we're seeing right now. Moved on by Grassel. Collects the loose ball. Just put it on the boot. Good grab there from Seth. Collingwood just aren't running for each other or creating space to work into. And as a result, they haven't been able to earn many set shots inside 50. Goes by hand. She's got the football now. Releases it under pressure. Thumps it clear. Grant collects the loose ball. Hurry kick. Open opportunity for Sharp. Slams it on the boot. Finds a target. Chips it towards half board. Normally a pretty good kick. Let's see what she can do here. Miller going for number one. Goes wide from behind. Unable to make any inroads there. Considering the options on the kick in. She looks like she needs a spell. Spears the ball. The bounce made it tough for Davey. Giocci throws the ball away. Going for goal number one. Almost delivers, but not quite. Fremantle behind by 17. Collingwood could turn the ball over a lot trying to play aggressively. It's where they turn it over which doesn't make it as dangerous. Livingston found some space and Mark. As we go into the final change, the scores are Collingwood 45, Fremantle 28. A big final term coming up. Collingwood walk into three-quarter time with the lead and the confidence they can win this game. For both sides finding plenty of scoring opportunities that term.
What do the stats tell us, Gaz? Collingwood haven't been winning the ball as often around the contest, but it's what they're doing after the initial contest that sees them in the lead. Thanks, Gaz. Let's see what this last quarter throws up. They have to go quickly to have any chance from here. Bowers gives it to the player running past. The umpire pings her here. Porter puts it on the boot. Ball hits the deck. Roberts might have overworked herself there. Handballs. Couldn't snaffle it. I haven't seen her for a while, Gaz. She needs to find a way into this game. What can you tell us, Gaz? This is a great game, Hutto, and we can just sit back and enjoy it. Sharp! Quickly onto the boot. Keeps it alive. Quickly onto the boot. Doesn't hold onto the mark. Malloy wins the foot race. We'll get a stoppage. Thrashes it. Lambert was taken high in the tackle. Moves it by foot. Malloy runs after the ball. They can link up now. She gets her hands on the footy. A good job. Keeping it in play there. And we'll get a ball up. Punches it clear. A bit too hard with a push. And it's a free kick. Brazil elects to kick. Livingston gains possession. There'll be a ball up close to goal. Punched away. Mass goal. Couldn't stick the tackle. Brazil handballs out in front. Slams it onto the boot. Easily takes the mark. Lambert uses it by foot. Just landed in her back. Looks up with the kick. Marks in a bit of space. Moves the ball by foot. A good mark out of the circumstances. 35 metres out. They can take the sting right out of the game here. She can put it through. Unable to put that one through. The margin is 18. Ready to bring it back into play. Breslin decides to go herself. She takes the mark. Stabs at the kick. Marks now and can send it back. Collingwood fans would love to see this one sail through. 50 metres out. She drives it towards goal. Stuck the mitts out there and held on to it. 20 metres out. Slicing goes it alone. Smiles all round. Collingwood by 24. Back in the middle to resume play. Clears the contest. Membry will be the recipient of the free. Goes by foot. Intercepted. Allen was taken high in the tackle. She spears the ball. The mark has been taken. Chose to kick it. Brazil takes it well. Decides to kick. Collingwood would love to make the most of this opportunity. Slicer bumps it towards goal. Drop punt straight through the middle. She's bagged a couple now. They are starting to stamp their dominance on this game. Get some reward for her efforts. A great bit of play that resulted in that goal. Some great ball movement there. You just knew they were going to score. Back with another centre bounce. Wins the ruck duel. Hits her hard. Hit the man hard. She gets her hands on the footy. Darcy with the ball. Snaffled up by Antonio. Now it's a baller. What are your thoughts at the moment, Gaz? 
I'd love for the coach to send a message out there and tell these players to take the game on. Gets a quick kick away. Fremantle fans leave disappointed today. Their team just not up to scratch. Gaz, what really stood out for you today? Just a fantastic performance from Collingwood. They really put in the hard yards and they can enjoy the result. Final scores are 9 4 58 to 4 4 28. Thanks for joining us. As always, it's been a pleasure. We look forward to seeing you back soon. Thanks, Hello. Until next time, that is.